Good morning dear children welcome back in today's session we are going to learn class 7 term 3 in geography unit 3 natural hazards understanding of disaster management in practice part 1 come children let us learn before going into today's session let us understand what are the learning objectives of this lesson we will try to understand the meaning of natural hazard and disaster do you know children what is a hazard a hazard is a situation where there is a threat to life health environment or property and these hazards are termed as disasters when they cause widespread destruction of property and human lives once a hazard becomes active and it is no longer just a threat it becomes a disaster we will try to get familiarized with natural and man made disasters we will know about the disaster management and disaster management cycle and we will know several survival technique my dear children every day almost all the newspapers and television news channels carry reports on natural hazards and disasters that occurred in several parts of the world so once you open your television or your cable tv you can find you can read about the various hazards and disasters that are occurring in different parts of the world it could be wildlife threat like forest fires or maybe landslides floods and so on neither all the hazards nor all the disasters can be preventable but the destruction can be minimized it is possible to prevent some of the disasters or hazards but not everything but what we can do is try to limit the destruction that has made by a particular disaster for example in the case of a landslide or a flood we may know in advance using our advanced techniques we may know in advance that there is going to be a landslide or there is a chance for a flood so we can evacuate or clear the area where the disaster is about to occur so my dears for better understanding we must know what is a natural hazard so we must understand what is a natural hazard and what is a disaster and what is disaster management and so on so we must try to understand what are all these things what is a hazard what is a disaster uh, what is disaster management let us learn about some important terminologies along with disaster management techniques come we will learn about all these things in this chapter first let us see what is a hazard h a e z a r d hazard a hazard is a dangerous phenomenon it is a phenomenon or there is an occurrence or a substance or a human activity or a condition that may cause loss of life it may cause loss of life or injury or health impacts damage to the property loss of livelihoods services social and economic disruption or environmental damage so what is a hazard it is a dangerous phenomenon substance or human activity it is a condition that may cause loss of life there may be loss of life or there may be injury or health impacts may be the result of endosulfan a chemical pesticide used in a particular area in kerala it has it had long term life hazard implications property damage that is some property may be damaged in the case of floods or landslides loss of livelihood people may lose their livelihood the people who are cultivating or who are vendors all those people will lose their livelihood 
and there will be social and economic disruption there will be a disruption in the economic condition as well as the social activities and it also will cause environmental damage natural hazards of natural phenomenon that might have a negative impact on human or the environment so when you see a hazard if it is a natural one we can understand it has a negative impact on human or even the environment and it is occurring by nature it is occurring it is a natural phenomena like it could be a biological phenomena or a geophysical phenomena Natural hazards are classified into two broad categories so we can classify a natural hazard into two they are geophysical and biological dear children a geophysical uh, phenomenon will be like earthquake or landslide tsunami and even volcanic activity avalanches or floods or extreme temperatures droughts wildfire or even cyclones a biological hazard is caused by the exposure to living organisms and the toxic substances like a venom or a mold like a poisonous plant or mosquitoes carrying a disease like parasite bacteria or virus like malaria it could be an epidemic or an insect infestation or it could be an animal accident we are going through such a phase where we are having an attack by a virus like corona virus having learned about hazards let us learn what is a disaster d i s a s t e r disaster a disaster can be generally defined as a serious disruption or cut in the society causing widespread material economic social or environmental losses which exceed the ability of the affected society to cope using its own resources so when an affected people are not able to cope up with the their own resources are not able to overcome the disruption which is caused by themselves and it becomes a disaster so what is disaster it is a serious disruption in society there is a break or a cut in the society which will cause widespread material loss economic social and environmental losses which exceeds and that loss will exceed the ability of the affected society the people who are affected are not able to cope up with its own their own resources they are not able to come out from their from that particular situation by using their own resources that is they need external help or help from others so disaster dears impacts may include loss of life injury disease as well as other negative effects on human physical mental and social well being together with damage to property destruction of assets loss of services social and economic disruption and environmental degradation so you have you know there will be loss of life there will be injury happening there will be diseases and it has other negative effects on the human physical mental social well being plus the damage to the property and loss of assets and disruption in services social and economic disruption as well as environmental degradation let it be a wildlife or let it be a flood or a landslide of course there will be loss of life and disease and there will be disruption in the services and it is it will take time for those people to come up or recover from the disaster hazards are termed as disasters you can call a hazard as disaster when they cause widespread destruction of property and human lives so a hazard will become a disaster when there is widespread destruction of property and human lives consider an example dear children consider a hurricane and a hurricane is a natural hazard 
it will develop at the sea it is a hazard that is occurring at a sea but when it reaches land and destroys buildings and kills people it can be described as a disaster in the picture you can find the hurricane irene which occurred in the bahamas in august 2011 you can see how wild the wind is blowing so it becomes a hurricane which is occurring in sea when it reaches land and destroys building it becomes a disaster now children let us learn what are the different types of disasters the two types of disasters are natural one as well as man made one natural disasters and man made disaster now a natural disaster could be beneath the surface of earth or on the surface of the earth it could be meteorological or hydrological as well as health so if it is occurring beneath the earth surface it can cause earthquakes tsunamis and volcanic eruptions if it is occurring the type of disaster occurring below the surface of the earth or beneath the earth surface will cause earthquakes tsunamis and volcanic eruptions if it is a if a natural disaster is occurring on the surface of earth you can have landslides and avalanches you can find or if the disaster is occurring on the surface of the earth you can find landslides occurring as well as avalanches avalanches are fall of snow from the mountain like a mountain piece is falling down we call it as landslide or a piece of land is falling down it is moving from a particular area same way ice cap mountains when ice is fall it we call, we call it as avalanche then it could be because of meteorological or hydrological reasons like wind storms tornadoes hail storms and floods it could be health reasons because of epidemic epidemic we are going through a pandemic situation an epidemic is a disease that is spreading in a particular area if it is spreading throughout the world we call it as a pandemic man made disaster there could be a man made disaster it could be socio technical like uh, technological or transportation disasters structural collapse and production failures you can see buildings collapsing or dams being broken or maybe bridges breaking down so it could be a man made disaster or it could be a warfare where uh, there is a war in the national as well as international territory Now let us learn about natural disasters earthquake a sudden movement or trembling of the earth's crust is called as earthquake what is earthquake it is a sudden movement or the trembling the shaking of the earth's crust is called as a earthquake it is a movement of the tectonic plates mass wasting landslides surface fault etc causes earthquake it could be the movement of tectonic tectonic plates or mass wasting or it could be landslides surface fault can cause the earthquake in the picture you can see the earthquake that is occurring in the huayan state of eastern taiwan on february 6th you can see how the building has collapsed and what is the damage that is caused now children let us understand what are the effects of earthquake the effects due to strong earthquake are loss of lives buildings roads bridges and dams and even dams could be damaged there will be loss of life the buildings roads bridges and dams will be damaged earthquake can also cause floods tsunamis landslides fires breakdown of water supply as well as electrical lines you can see the earthquake causing floods tsunamis landslides fires as well as breakdown of water supply and electricity it may change the course of a river you could it could also change the course of a river dear children what do you see are are the pictures are the effects of the earthquake we can see a building how it is damaged because of the trembling of the earth and how the road has given way it has just crumbled under the earthquake 
it is time for a recap dear children dears in this session we discussed about disaster and hazard and earthquake we learned a hazard is a dangerous phenomenon substance or human activity or a condition that may cause loss of life injury health impacts property damage loss of livelihoods services social and economic disruption or environmental damage natural hazards are natural phenomenon that might have negative impact on human or environment and we can classify it into two categories geophysical as well as biological we also learned that hazards can be become disasters when they cause widespread destruction of human property and human lives dear children in the next session we will discuss about the other natural hazards time for worksheet worksheet number 1 answer the following define hazard define hazard question number 2 what is disaster what is disaster with that we wind up today's session my dear children thank you for watching please subscribe our channel youtube.com/samshirkalvikai thank you stay blessed